NASCAR Xfinity Series Cowboy 300 at Texas Motor Speedway in Fort Worth, Texas will take place on Saturday, April 8th of 2017 with the race televised on Fox. The Cowboy 300 is the first of two races during the NASCAR Xfinity season to be held at Texas Motor Speedway with another one to take place in the fall. It was a Friday night race from 2011 to 2016, but it will be returning to Saturday afternoon starting with the 2017 event. It is a 300 mile race, which means it is 200 laps at Texas Motor Speedway. Texas Motor Speedway opened in 1996, and it was once the fastest one and a half mile track on the NASCAR circuit, to the point where there were talks to use restrictor plates here as they do at Daytona and Talladega, which are much larger tracks. It has a capacity of over 181,000 fans, and Texas remains one of the more entertaining one and a half mile tracks in NASCAR with banking of 24 degrees in all four turns, and there can be a lot of side-by-side -side racing during this event. You still need to have a good starting point to give yourself a chance at Texas, where no one has won outside of the top 10 on the starting grid since Kyle Busch took the race in 2008. The last two winners in the spring race have won from the pole, so keep that in mind as you make your betting picks. Kyle Busch got back to victory lane in Texas last season with his fourth win in five races, leading 150 laps from the pole. Eric Jones, who won in 2015, finished second with Brad Keselowski, Chase Elliott, and Dale Hurdart Jr. coming in on the top five. Jones led 12 laps while Kyle Larson led 38 laps and finished 11th. However, no one had anything for Busch on this day, which was a common theme whenever Busch lined up to start a NASCAR Xfinity Series race last year. Bush has the record for wins in this race with five, followed by Mark Martin with a trio of wins and Matt Kenseth who has two wins in the Texas Spring Race. Before Kyle Busch took the title last season, it was Eric Jones winning the race in 2015, Chase Elliott in 2014, Kyle Busch again in 2013, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in 2012. Hopefully Eric Jones can find a ride for this race as he has a win and a finishing average of 2.75 in four starts at Texas in the Xfinity Series, counting the fall race. Ryan Blaney is another driver with a chance with an average of 4.33 in three starts. So if you want some value, take Blaney as he is the most likely to win outside of Kyle Busch, who has eight wins total at Texas Motor Speedway in the Xfinity Series. For more information and statistics on this event and every other sporting event this week, check out bangthebook.com. Bang the Book is your best resource for sports betting information before you make your weekly assault on the sports books.